I'm Daniel. This is Steve. We invent top-notch cocktails for some of the best bars and restaurants in America. When it comes to making drinks, food is our inspiration. And behind every cocktail we make is an adventure. The San Pedro Fish Market is one of the most amazing places in Southern California. It's a fish market, it's a restaurant. It has seating for 3,000 people right on the water. And on any given weekend, 10,000 people devour their world famous shrimp tray. Mission today is to go down to San Pedro, meet the family, see the fish, and create two original cocktails that will be sold at the San Pedro Fish Market. We're a third generation fish market and seafood restaurant. This is my life. I, I... I do nothing but fish and play with fish, clean fish, gut fish, eat fish. Our love for life is seafood. The first thing they really had to say after our hellos was, hey, they, we just had a crab boat show up. Can you give us a hand? <laughs> just you on the boat? Just me. Yeah? You have to respect the ocean. My wife tells me to be careful twice, I don't go. Googie was quite a character. The crabs were quite large. These crabs have big claws. And they're very, very active. They've just been taken in. I mean, can they take off a finger with their claws? Mm -hmm. I've been very lucky. And despite some of the stories he told us about crab fishermen dying, just didn't seem to phase him one bit. We brought crabs in off his boat, and I thought we were just going down there to eat. When we started dumping the crabs, there was this whole thing about which tank to put them in. And Mike and Henry were asking Googie, oh, did you, did you sex them out yet? There's eggs in the females. The males don't have the eggs, so they want the flavor of the eggs, so that's why we separate them. Putting seafood in cocktails isn't necessarily going to fly with everyone, so a lot of the way that we come up with cocktails isn't just about the flavors, it's about the experience. Ah. We entered the market and he brought us right over to the Parga, quite a large, spiky, pretty ugly looking fish. I know you guys have been here before, so I know you know our operation. You come in here, you buy a fish from us, we cook it for you. Right. But I bet you haven't cleaned a fish yet. Today, it would be fun for the two of you guys to challenge each other and see who could scale one quicker. Uh, Mike and Henry told us that we were gonna have a scaling contest. I got pretty excited about it. It became clear we had to get our hands dirty, earn their respect, become one with the fish in order to create the best cocktails possible. Mike hands me this strange circular contraption on a handle. I'm like, okay, I'm in a fish market. Why do I have a horse comb? You guys ready? Yeah. Set? Go! <laughs> The scales on the Parga were, were big and dense and thick. <laughs> well, am I really that far behind? The head, don't forget the head. I think we've got a winner, guys. I think we've got a winner over here. <laughs> I think he flipped earlier than me, and uh, I think the guy, uh, whatever. Uh, things can get competitive at times between me and Steve, especially when there's a good challenge involved. After the Pargo, they continued to punish us. They had us shucking oysters, carrying a 180 pound swordfish across the market. It's slippery, it's wet, it's cold. Bad swordfish. <laughs> and then cut it into swordfish sticks. Finally, we headed to the kitchen to cook up the fruits of our labor. It is unbelievable that they can service 20,000 guests out of what, a 150 square foot kitchen? There's all these different types of fish, seafood, including the world famous shrimp tray. It's grilled fried with different vegetables, potatoes, onions, with their proprietary blend of spices. What makes this extra special? What sets us apart is, is our seasoning. It's our, it's our proprietary blend. You can't get that anywhere else. It's a secret recipe. The shrimp tray is a perfect mix of the guy's Italian heritage and Hispanic flavors. My cocktail is definitely gonna draw from this combination. So it's basically ready. We can take a seat outside if you like. We'll have somebody serve it up for us. Yeah, let's go sit on the patio. Beautiful. You knew my size. <laughs> <laughs> What's in a michelada? It's the Hispanic version of a Bloody Mary. Mexican beer rammed with like their house-made michelada spices. That is some magic dust in the michelada. It was a crazy amount of food that they brought out. You can't be dainty when you eat the shrimp tray. You got this garlic bread and you just kind of attack it. On the table is this whole parga, 10 pounds of swordfish. Crabs at St. Peter Fish Market are absolutely delicious. Picnic style eating, serving your friends, serving yourself. This is the cocktail I want to make. So the 
drink I'm making for Mike and Henry is the Pedro Punch. This is inspired by Italian and Mexican ingredients. What we're gonna start off with here first is the fresh watermelon juice. We just took half the watermelon, kind of blended it all down and juiced it. I'm gonna do eight ounces of fresh watermelon juice. And this is perfect for sitting by the ocean, eating spicy shrimp. Two ounces of simple syrup, just to add a little sweetness. Next ingredient, bitter Italian liqueur. Add three ounces. Got some notes of grapefruit. That's gonna really like round off the finish of the drink. This is a, uh, a Highland tequila. It's gonna be really aromatic. Really gonna taste the agave on this. We're gonna add six ounces. And then the final ingredients, one bar spoon of kosher salt and one teaspoon of the world famous San Pedro Fish Market Michelada mix. Give this a nice stir, get everything combined. So now we're gonna add ice to get some dilution and to get the drink nice and cold. So we're gonna garnish the punch bowl here with a couple of spears of watermelon. We're gonna rim the glass here with the Michelada mix. This is great because it's totally family style. Everyone can serve each other or serve themselves. And that is the Pedro Punch. It's very, very, very important that I lubricate. This cocktail is the Bloody Mariner. Classic morning hangover cocktail inspired by a San Pedro fish market with yellow heirloom tomatoes and a bunch of pirate nature. So we pour four ounces of heirloom California tomato juice, one half of lime, one ounce of fresh fennel juice, and then some fig, simple syrup, an ounce and a half of white rum added to this awesome pirate cocktail. The reason why pirates drank rum is to keep them healthy. One ounce of absinthe, then we rim the cocktail with fresh lime juice, and then we took some of the San Pedro original spice. Smelled the absinthe, you smelled the fennel, fresh everything. Wonderful fresh garnish. This is the Bloody Mariner. It's a pirate themed cocktail with booze and absinthe. Who's, come on, is gonna love it. My cocktail's uh, a little bit of an homage to Henry and his pirate like nature. You know, I think pirates like to get a little happy. <laughs> so, just a tad. Yeah, so we figured punch it up a little. The flavor of the fennel in there, just the, the tomatoes. I, it's amazing. And adding our spice to <laughs> it completely changed the entire texture of the drink, actually. So now it's got kind of a little like, kick to it, a little yeah. bit of fire. I, you don't taste the alcohol. It's so smooth. This has been the most challenging adventure that we've taken as it pertains to making cocktails. This is the Pedro Punch. Pedro Punch. Cheers. Pedro Punch. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. It's amazing. It's amazing you did. You brought all the cultures together right here. It's, it's like fresh fire, man. It, it tastes <laughs> so fire, fresh, exactly. like fruit, but it's got and kind of that fire kick at the end. You know? I could probably just put a straw in that and finish that off on my own. We can do that. <laughs> there you go. You know what? Put that away. That's oh, the spirit. Man, that's the way to do it. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for saving me some. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to Hungry and feed your food obsession.